Okay, with me spilling the beans that I had a bear encounter. Who y'all think won? Me or the bear? You see my arm? <laughs> hey, but people been waiting on this story, so I'm going to tell it um, to add into this video. But, hey, you got to watch it to the end to see this part. So. Whew, river tubing. Hey, is a trout gonna, gonna bite our butt? I know. <laughs> uh oh, we better start packing. <laughs> I think before it got up, but um, it wouldn't let me. It kept saying it was hot. I guess because the sun is beaming right here. Hey, everybody say it's fun. Float the river, tube the river, and a big ass bear in the middle of the river. <laughs> and then we, hey, <laughs> hey, and then we stopped for a little while just to rest. We stopped, and hey. <laughs> No, it was a bear in the water. I ain't gonna tell you what water. And then we call our co workers and they just laughed. Oh, there's some people around here. Okay, I went river tubing on Monday, June 20th, 2022. And boy, I tell you, it was fun. It was fun. I would love to go again. The water was a little cool when you first got in, and being the two ladies that I went with, we were um, river tubing together, we tied our tubes together, and they had a cooler, so we tied one for the cooler. And we just going down the lake, the river, and <laughs> we just laughing, talking, because um, we running into the tree branches, we couldn't get our paddling together with our hands, because hey our arms were too short to go around the big old fat tubes so we paddling with one hand each or we would stretch our body so we can reach our arms over and paddle with two hands so you know we were just having a blast cackling and laughing and talking and and i'm silly anyway so i'd be cracking jokes and acting just a plum fool and then i'm like a big ass kid when i'm doing something fun i'm i'm very in tune with my inner child you hear me but baby, we was out there doing that river tubing and <laughs> I was like, oh, MG, what did I get myself into? But baby, we had so much fun. We were just paddling along and coming along because um, there's two bridges. We supposed to flow under one. We hadn't come to that one yet. And then that second one we was going to get out on to be picked up. And the tubing lasts an hour and a half. So we just going along and we hadn't even been in probably, I wouldn't even say a good 20 minutes. And all of a sudden, the one lady, she said, bear. And we were like, bear? Because she was facing the area where we was floating to. And me and the other lady was kind of turned around. She said, bear. So we weren't really paying no, no attention. Because had nobody said nothing about no bear at the river tubing. So she said it again. We turned around. We looked. I'm leaning over to see because her tube was a little further over and it was a big old ass black bear in the middle of the river we were floating straight towards the area it probably was about 30 feet 
30 feet 40 feet ahead of us but you can see it really really good so i don't know it might not have even been that far ahead but it was just laying like it was bent over in the middle of the river okay nobody said nothing about no doggone bear in the river nobody Everybody that didn't the road ain't told us nothing about no, seeing no bear. They've seen eagles, they've seen deer, doe, uh, ducks, and turtles, and fish. Nobody said anything about a bear. So here we are panicking, wondering what the hell do we do? I'm trying to get pictures. I'm trying to get video because I was like, OMG. I always wanted to see a bear. I've never seen one outside the zoo. What? And in the river at that? So the one lady, she pulled the tree branches to pull us over to the side because we didn't know what to do. Ain't none of us encountered the bears like that. So we didn't know. And then, you know, you always hear stories of people talking about play dead. Mm -hmm. Don't fool around, get us killed. And so here, uh, the other lady, she's sitting here trying to call people back at the campground to see, okay, what do we do? What do we do with this black bear in the middle of the river that we're floating directly to? and everybody we could not get a hold of nobody i started trying to call people couldn't get nobody answer the phone number voicemails so she finally got a hold of somebody i finally got a hold of somebody and everybody just laughing at us and saying just keep going keep going what who the hell who the hell gonna just keep going in the middle of the river they say just keep going the bear is more scared of you than you are of it. How are we supposed to know that? That bear way bigger than all three of us put together. So they was like, you just keep going. And you, and I was like, well, the bear didn't move on now. But we were still a little, little scared to move out because we didn't know if the bear was sitting up on the banks. So, because I was watching the bear. The bear swam over to the right-hand side. The bear got up like a human. You hear me? That bear got up out that water like a person and walked up on the banks. And I was like, what in the world? That bear was huge. You hear me? It was tall. Oh, my God. That bear was so damn tall. And I was so mad because my phone, because it was hot Monday. That's why the bear probably was in the water because it was hot. And it was trying to cool off like us. And we out there. I'm trying to get pictures. My phone was in, you know, them waterproof uh, cases. Damn phone cooking because the sun was beaming down on us. So by the time I tried to take pictures with the bear, camera wouldn't work. It kept shutting down, shutting down, shutting down on my phone. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? This is a once in a lifetime adventure. And my phone going to keep closing down. And the lady Heidi, my neighbor, she was too shaken to uh, even... Uh, <laughs> to even try to take pictures with her phone man but that was hilarious in the end but at the time nope it was not funny because it was like a joke on us we the first people probably that's been seen that at the time you know this season because had nobody else seen it and now everybody talking about they want to go see the bear but talking about they want to see the bear uh, on the banks not no water bear but I'm like you can't choose where you see the bear at I want to see a bear too but I ain't know I was going to see it in the river but I want to go again hoping to see a bear again and take my extra camera that hopefully won't get heated and be able to take pictures and video I, I mean I tried my best to get some pictures and video that doggone bear swam on over there to the right and got up like a person and walked on. I've never seen a bear stand straight up. Shh. Can you imagine? My YouTube would blow the hell up. People would probably be trying to steal my picture and my video footage. But yeah, y'all, that's the story. And so when they were pulling us over towards the trees, and we were talking about what if one come out the trees and all that, and as they were pulling us over, because the rocks are slick and slippery, and I kept falling off my inner tube. So, that's how the barrel won, I think. I kept falling off that dang inner tube, 
and every time I tried to sit back on it, the inner tube would slide from up under me and I would lose my footing because the rocks were slick from the algae or whatever down in there. And then uh, when we finally decided to float on past where the bear was, I had then flipped off the inner tube upside down backwards. You hear me? Man, look. Hit my head on a rock. And I guess I must have hit my arm on something too. But yeah, I looked like I was a special being uh, flipping my ass off of that inner tube and damn near drowning in uh, waist deep water. <laughs> but I'll go again. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Y'all, peace. Be blessed and stay tuned for more adventures.